Hi, I'm Nick Lucas from Hi-Fi Collective and today I'm going to be changing the load resistor on this Cosmo 48 step steps attenuator. As standard with the Cosmo, they provide the Cadex MK132. Today we're going to be putting the Charcoff Tid Falls in. Here's uh, your list of tools for the job. Solder sucker, cutters, solder, snipe nose, pliers. These I've had for about 20 years, look, brilliant. Allen keys, metric size, soldering iron, and vice. Boom. As you can see, the Cosmo comes with this PCB that's stuck on the top. Now to get access to the underside of this PCB, we need to undo these connections here. So, pop it in a vise, solder sucker to the ready, soldering iron, press down on the solder sucker a few times, get rid of any gunk that's in it, and then bring the nib, heat this up. You don't want to heat one part of the PCB for too long a time because you'll you'll break the pads. So I'll, I'll just go along each one and then go back. So there, there, and there. Clean the nib, and then let's get rid of that. Let's lift off the pad, lift off, and you just got to clean up the ends of these wires a little bit. So, heat up the wires, and then clean up the holes. Fine. So you need um, a number two Allen key because you need to undo the screws. So just go round and do those. There. Now, just try and straighten up these wires, because as you lift it off, it just makes it easier. Right, so it should just lift off quite nicely, like that. Brilliant. We can see inside. Have a look inside there. So now we have uh, the PCB out, uh, and you can see these are what we need to take out next. So turn it upside down, like this. One of the leads hasn't been sold to this side, but I'm sure it's a, a through hole board anyway. So, solder sucker to the ready. Heat it up there. A bit shaky there. So we're removing the caddock resistors, which are, there's one, and there's the other. So this PCB is put through hole, so even though it's not soldered there, there's a connection that goes through the hole to the other side. So even though they're not soldered, there is a connection going on. But you've just got one going here. Like that. Board over, because this connection's there. So the plan is to try and remove these without destroying them. It's going to be a bit tricky. Oops. Make sure you clean your solder pump. 
Right, so I'm just going to grab the resistor and just heat the leg. I should be able just to put that one and then pull out the other one and then you do the same to the other side. So we've got the, uh, we've taken the catalytic resistors out so we're just going to clean out the holes. So obviously we've got the new resistors down there. PCBs aren't great for taking components in there. Right, turn it around. Yeah, it's just one piece of load resistors in, put them the same way around, you don't want, you want to have a bit of a lead length because you don't want to distress the chip, so probably about there would be fine, and then just solder them in. Sold the other side as well. Oh, well, it's already done. So the solder's fallen through. This is great. Cut the lead short. So now we're going to put the board back on. You can see the holes. There's three holes there. So make sure they line up. And then just got to line all of those wires up, push it in, put the screws back in. It's a number two metric Allen key. Just put them all loose in. Square and you can tighten them all up. Cool, and then if you remember, these wires were touching the pads next to them. So, in fact, what I'm going to do is just do a loop. Soldier them. Boom. Boom. So now, let's push those down a bit. Now it's ready to play. So you've got your new shark offs in already. You can see it's clearly labelled for wiring up. So you've got your in channel one, out channel one, ground channel one, in channel two. Out channel 2, ground channel 2. Done!